From super soldiers to particle accelerators, modern science is getting quite interesting, to say the least. And by interesting, I mean it's absolutely concerning and we should stop probably soon. Kicking off the list at number 10, Cola Super Deep Borehole. If you dug a hole through the center of the earth and then jumped in, would you come out on the other side? No, definitely not. That's not, a, that's not a cartoon. But in the Arctic Circle in the 70s, Russia had a budget for such a thing, believe it or not. Scientists began working on the project in 1970. They got about 40,000 feet come 1989. So for that many years, Russian dudes in winter coats were just drilling one hole. What a great job, I love this. They got one third through the Baltic continental crust. They found rocks older than two billion years, but eventually they hit this muddy lava and had to pack it up and go back, well, up. A huge concern here was that demons would be released from the earth. I was gonna laugh, but honestly, that's fair. It's more than fair. Back in the 70s as well, eh, I would have believed it. The previous title for the deepest hole belonged to the United States Bertha Rogers Hole, which reached 31,000 feet. Stanley Yelnats would be so proud. Number nine, the mouse with an ear on its back. If we ever reboot Stuart Little, this guy needs to audition. He would kill it. It'd be so weird. R-rated for sure. The mouse with a human ear, folks. This is like the world's greatest mouse spy. I don't know, he could do so much. What the hell are we looking at here? Well, back in 1997, if scientists could grow cartilage using chondrocytes, AKA cells from a cow. Well, it worked and we're still talking about it today, obviously, but it all started when Joseph Vicanti, pediatric surgeon, began designing human organs. That's a fun little hobby, just designing organs. I think this one looks real. Now, this was during a shortage. He wasn't just bored and started to make ears. He was changing the medical game and little did he know he was about to change the science one as well. He constructed a simple small ear, told his brother Chuck and his partner Bob to not bring up the fact that he attached it to a mouse. Well, Chuck spilled the beans but now we know that cartilage can indeed create cells. I really want to Q-tip his back. Is that weird? It gives ear cheese a whole new meaning. So gross, tossing that away. Number eight, the Trinity test and the Manhattan Project. In a list about unsettling science experiments, I have to bring up these tests. Of course, history changed forever when nuclear fission was discovered in a Berlin lab. They discovered that an atom splitting into lighter atoms can cause quite the chemical reaction, this massive explosion. This was groundbreaking, of course, because this was the moment we discovered a new way to power technology. But at the same time, the test introduced us to atomic bombs. When the Americans heard that Germans were developing nuclear weapons, they joined in with their development on a project basically out of fear. Most of it being done in New Mexico. So in 1939, President Roosevelt got scientists, military officials, this whole team of brilliant individuals to figure out how to use uranium as a weapon. The government eventually started to fund this research, which was happening at Columbia University. And in 1942, engineers from the army joined as well. And following Pearl Harbor, well, that's when President Roosevelt transitioned the project into a military branch completely. And so began the Manhattan Project. Roosevelt made this project with the strict goal of weaponizing nuclear energy. There are facilities in New Mexico, Tennessee, Washington, and here in Canada. Finally, come July 16th, 1945, the Trinity test was conducted. The first atomic bomb was detonated in that New Mexico desert and was deemed a success with mushroom clouds reaching up to 40,000 feet high. Number seven, inner armor. We've all wanted to be a superhero at some point. We have a nerd channel directed to all that superhero goodness. Definitely check it out. I'm always late, honestly. I would love super speed or Heelys. Both would work pretty well. Well, DARPA's inner armor project was the Pentagon's way of creating super soldiers. Yeah, you heard me. Scientists use animals as reference for these new abilities, literally like from a Marvel movie. Like for example, they're studying the DNA of the stellar sea cow because it can reduce flow away from organs if need be in order to reduce oxygen on demand. Man, that would be sweet, just Aquaman with the tactical vest rolling up to the beach, okay. Dr. Michael Callahan, who is in charge of running this operation, says the goal is to make soldiers kill-proof against disease, chemical weapons, radioactive weapons, harsh weather conditions, all that good stuff. It would be Chris Evans. This was back in 2007, and then of course in 2014, Barack Obama just had to announce that the United States was building Iron Man. Number six, Alos. Basically, I'm here to announce that we're building Iron Man. Yeah, I wasn't lying, he said it. Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, AKA Talos, was a project announced in 2014, and like the former president said, this was supposed to be a modern day Iron Man suit of armor. It was supposed to change warfare entirely, but five years later, the project was scrapped. But why? Hmm. Well, obviously it's hard to do. We could barely launch Google Maps, let alone have a suit of armor. Ideally, the suit would give the user advanced tactical awareness, advanced military grade armor, which has an exoskeleton underneath that's wired to the helmet and then the rest of the suit. 
It's pretty sweet. They figured a few things out while creating the suit, but overall the Iron Man armor wasn't even close to being like what we see on the big screen for now. Apparently parts of it are being used for these future secret projects, so maybe in part two we'll find some crazy sh I don't know, hopefully not. Number five, the search for ET. With UFOs showing up on the news lately, you gotta wonder how much money does the government actually put in to the exploration of possible alien life. Well, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, is a program put in place for just that. The institution is America's only organization dedicated to finding ET and his little glowy finger. I wouldn't put a chip in my head, but I would let ET put his finger in my ear for sure. Long distance, are you kidding? Let's go. They've been at work there for over 50 years. And by at work, I mean they're searching the galaxy for radio signals. So far, we haven't found anything, which is almost more concerning, some would say. Number four, go pills. Look out, five hour energy, because we're pulling an all nighter for this one. Every time I watch Lord of the Rings, I fall asleep. I can't help it. It's a great film, don't get me wrong, but it's like, it's so cozy, the music just mm, tucks me right in. But that's not an issue in the real world. The real issue is overnight truck drivers struggling to stay awake to pay their bills. That's a bit more important, I'd say. That's where go pills were supposed to come into play. The pill that keeps you up for 40 hours straight. And no, I don't mean that pill. The US Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, again, DARPA, is currently funding this pill. The benefits it would have, I gotta say, if this works, I am on board. I could finally finish Skyrim. Wouldn't that be neat? I could finally play 50 turns in a single round of Mario Party. It can finally happen. I knew it was possible, Chris. Number three, Large Hadron Collider. The world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator is intimidating. When I say large, I also mean it's 27 kilometers long. Big circle of pipes. This huge metal circle made out of superconducting magnets and accelerating structures located in Switzerland has one goal in mind, making two particles collide. All in the name of science, of course. While it's exciting to be a part of history, we're kind of concerned about the fact that a black hole might just appear in Switzerland, out of the blue. This project began back in 2008, and the odds that they can smash two particles together in the first place is pretty rare. Being that far apart and in opposite directions going that fast, they say it's like shooting sewing needles from 10 kilometers away and somehow having their tips collide. So don't sleep in fear. Plus, if a mini black hole did appear, scientists say it would evaporate instantly. Although I've seen Interstellar, so I call bullshit. Number two, the Milligram experiment. When learning about our past in further detail, like the Trinity test, for example, and how that led to the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it's important to understand why these things happened and how people, like the Germans, were so easily influenced into doing what they did. So the Milgram experiment was put in place to get an idea. How far will people go when it comes to obeying instructions? Specifically, how far will they go if it involves a third party being hurt? Well, Stanley Milgram, Yale psychologist, created this test, and there's three important roles for this one. There's the teacher, the experimenter, and the learner. The learner is disguised as the main test subject, but really, they're in on it. The real subject is the teacher, the one administering pain to the test subject. They're told by this higher figure to keep upping the pain every time they get a question wrong. They keep zapping them. So the real test is to see how far humans will go when hurting others. The icing on this experiment is that the subject isn't actually getting shocked at all. These tests were underway in 1961 in a basement at Yale University. Imagine taking a wrong turn on your way to class and you end up here. What a nightmare. But basically, it's like you have a figure of authority yelling commands at you and it's like, okay, people, as a human, we're just gonna accept that and just go along with it. It's like if Vince Vaughn was being all funny and he's all tall and big and intimidating. He's like, yeah, come on, do it. You're like, ah, it's Vince Vaughn, he told me to. And then after, they're like, you failed. It's Vince Vaughn, like, you're an idiot. Number one, MK Ultra. We have to finish with a mind control project, of course, it's the only way. You will like this video after you're done. MK Ultra was a secret CIA project that lasted from 1953 to 1973, where they ran hundreds of experiments to US citizens. They gave them LSD and other narcotics in attempts to crack mind control, or as they call it, information gathering. Okay. In the 50s and 60s, around the Cold War, the United States believed that the Soviets, the Chinese, or the North Korean agents were using mind control on them. I mean, sure, how else can you explain brainwashed prisoners of war in Korea? Not like they hurt them or did anything horrible. The program had subjects take LSD, hallucinogens, paralytics, 
paralytics, electric shock therapy, just horrible stuff being done in universities, hospitals, and even prisons. The happenings of said project weren't fully known to the public until years after it ended, but the agency destroyed most MK documents back in 1973 when it collapsed. So we think we know things, but when reality, we probably know nothing, Jon Snow. Guys, those were 10 unsettling experiments, but if you want to hear more, anything science related, anything history related, let us know in the bottom in the comments and we'll bring it to your eyes. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. We'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Peace. It's like literally from a Marvel movie. For example, they're studying the DNA of the stellar sea cow. The stellar sea lion? The stellar sea cow. It's the cow. Why don't... Stellar sea lion. Hang on, I gotta Google this. It's, this matters. Stellar sea cow. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stellar sea... Cow. It's a cow. <laughs>